mean the Buddha teaches us uh, the discourse of a Mahasiddhi Patana Sutta, the four foundations of a mindfulness. He classified the mindfulness, uh, the four categories. Pasvan Kaya Nupasana Sati Patana, mindfulness of uh, bodily phenomena. The second Vedana Nupasana Sati Patana, mindfulness of uh, feeling or sensation. The third Chitta Nupasana Sati Patana, mindfulness of uh, Chitta consciousness or mental states. The fourth Dhamma Nupasana Sati Patana, the mindfulness of a uh, Dhamma. When we are mindful of any physical phenomena, that's called kaya nupasana stipatana. When we are aware of any feeling or sensation, pleasant feeling, unpleasant feeling, or neutral feeling, that is vidana nupasana stipatana mindfulness of feeling or sensation. When we are mindful of any consciousness, such as distraction, restlessness, anger, hatred, and so on, it's a called Chitta Nupasana Sthipatthana, mindfulness of our consciousness or mental states. When we observe any Dhamma, such as uh, five kinds of uh, Nivarana hindrances uh, and five aggregates and twelve ayatanat and so on. They are called, uh, it's uh, called Dhamma Nupasana Sripatana, mindfulness of a Dhamma. Though the omniscient Buddha classified uh, four categories, but we need not choose. Uh, any anupasana, any sutipatthana to develop to practice. What we should do is uh, to be mindful of whatever naturally and predominantly arises in our body and mind as it is. That's all. Then practical uh, aspect of uh, this meditation when you practice. We have three aspects of a practice. Sitting, walking and awareness of the daily activities. In sitting meditation, whatever arises in our body and mind during sitting, we have to be mindful of, we have to observe it as it really occurs. During in the walking meditation, during walking, we have to be mindful of uh, the movement of uh, the foot. Lift a movement, push a movement, drop a movement of the foot. Because it, while we are walking, the movement of the foot is predominant as well. So it must be observed, it must be noted, it must be mindful of as it is. Apart from sitting and walking, there are many actions and movements we do for the whole day. All of these actions and movements are called daily activity so that meditators can rightly and easily understand the technique. This awareness of daily activities is known as Sambhajanya Papa in Mahasdipatthana Sutta. Sambhajanya Papa means a chapter on clear comprehension or a chapter on full awareness. The Lord Buddha teaches us that this is Sambhajanya Bhavad, chapter on daily activities separately because it's very much important for a meditator to be aware of, to be mindful of, as it is. Yes, first of all, when we sit, first of all, we have to pay respect to the triple gems, how and down three times to the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Then after that, 
as I explained to you, to you so earlier, we must apologize any noble one or anyone who is endowed with sila, samari, panya. If we have been do wrong to him, intentionally or unintentionally, or consciously or unconsciously, we have to make an apology to him, as I explained you earlier. After apology has been made, then we must instruct ourselves to the Buddha and to the meditation teacher. Then we have to practice the four protection meditation, Buddha Nusripana, recollection of the Buddha Satriya. After that, Asupa Pavana, recollection of uh, some aspects of the body, then Maranasati, recollection of the death, then Mita Bhavana, cultivating a develop, development of love and kindness and Mita towards all living beings. When we practice mindfulness and meditation, we have to do all actions and movements slowly so that we can observe each individual actions and movements attentively, precisely. Each individual actions and movement has three characteristics. To realize these three characteristics, anicca, dukkha, anatta, of any actions or movement, we have to be mindful of. We have to observe all the actions and movement we do for the whole day. Then to be able to observe each, each and every action and movement, we have to slow down all our actions and movement deliberately. If we do all actions and movement normally, steadily, we are unable to observe each action and movement precisely. That's why we need to slow down all actions and movements we do for the whole day. When we come to meditation hall, we have to slow our step, slow down our stepping, observing right, left, right, left, left foot, right foot. When we make left step, we should observe the movement of the left foot. So whatever you do, we must do slowly so that we can observe all actions and movements precisely, attentively enough. As I explained to you, when a meditator comes to meditation hall, observing the movement of the foot very well, movements, motion, vibrations are the specific characteristic of a wind or air element, why or tattoo. It arises a very instantly in process way, so it's impermanent. It's a specific characteristic of a movement, motion, vibration, support. And we have to observe all actions and movement. Only if we slow down all actions and movement, we are able to realize the specific characteristics of a wind or air element, why or tattoo. That's why a meditator comes to meditation hall by being aware of the movement of the food very precisely, attentively. When we reach in front of the Buddha statues, then he has to sit down to pay respect to the triple gems of the Buddha, the Dhamma, the Sangha. A sitting down must be done very slowly so that he can be mindful of each, every actions, each movement of a sitting down. Make him mental note as a sitting, sitting, sitting. No verbal note, mental note, labeling. Mental note helps the mind to focus on the object very attentively, precisely. That's why we have to use the mental note or labeling. Make a mental note, sitting down, sitting down, sitting down. When the body touches the floor or the seat, touching, touching. Bow down to the Buddha statute. The bowing movement must be observed, must be mindful of as it is 
make him mental now at bow and bow and bow when he touches the floor of the carpet when his forehead touches the floor of the carpet or when both hand touches the floor touch him touch him when he are about to lift his hand and head then intention and intention then lift him lift him slowly moving up his body his head and then he gets in the normal position then again he puts his both hand to forehead as a respect he should observe all the movements and again he put the hands down to the floor and also the head also the down to the floor all actions and movement he acts in involved in the bowing down must be observed as it is really occurs only after he has done three times bowing then he sit for meditation when he sit for meditation he should sit a close like at a position or in any proper position which is a suitable for him to sit long sitting then both him should be placed an ankle the legs should be placed side by side one leg inside and the other leg outside placing side by side the body must be kept erect straight not stretching just a straight and the head and the neck also must be kept in straight position close the eye and then focus the mind towards the object here i am mahasi technique of tradition we use the rising movement and falling movement of the dome as the primary object of meditation that is a vayata to win element so we start with it focus our mind on the abdomen movement and observe when the abdomen moves forward make him enter now as rising when the dome moves backwards make him enter not falling or sometimes the movement is not forward and backward it moves upwards and downward if upward movement then not rising then when we have a downward movement move not falling rising falling perceive actual movements of the process rising process and falling process mere saying words is not meditation words or mental note labeling helps the mind to focus on actual movements of rising process and falling process attentively precisely in this way we start sitting meditation now better to demonstrate how to come to meditation or how to sit how to bow down how to sit and so on now one of our monks will demonstrate it
when you say body should be an upright position, keep it straight, no stretching, then relax both the body and mind. Do not body and mind feel tense. Let both body and mind relax. Then focus the mind to the rise and fall and movement of the abdomen. When you breathe in, the abdomen moves forward or upward. When you breathe out, the abdomen moves downward or backwards. When the abdomen moves forward or upward, you observe it, the movements of rising process, note as rising. When the abdomen moves backward or downward, you should be aware of uh, the movements of the downward process. Make a mental note as body. In this way, the mind should be focused on the rising movement and fall movement. No turn, rising, fall, rightness, fall. Your breathing must be normal and natural. You must hold your breath. You must make a vigorous breath or strong breath. You must stop, make a quick breathe. The breathing must be normal and natural. But the mind should not go to nostril. This is a not anapanasti meditation, not respiration meditation. This is contemplation of uh, one or air element in the abdomen. So the mind should focus on rising movement and falling movement of the abdomen. Try to perceive the rising movements of rising process or movements of a falling process. But in the beginning of the pandemic, you are unable to experience. You are unable to experience these movements. What you realize, what you know is that yes, the movements, forward movements of the abdomen, down, backward movements of the abdomen. In this way, when you contemplate and rise and fall the movement of the abdomen, the mind doesn't stay with the movement. It goes out, wonders and thinks about very often then you must not bring the mind back to the object. You should follow the mind and observe it, making mental note as thinking, 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 thinking. Until the death, wondering mind, thinking mind has to disappear. Wondering, wondering, or thinking, thinking. After the thinking mind has to disappear, your noted mind should return to the primary object, that is the rise and movement and falling movement. Note as usual of rise and falling. So long as the mind doesn't go or doesn't wander, you should observe the movements of the abdomen, make a mental note as rising, falling. If the rise and fall movement of the abdomen is not clear enough, you can put the both hands up on the abdomen like this. <clears throat> when the abdomen moves forward, it the hand feels it. When the abdomen moves backward, the hands feel it. Then you can note rising, falling. If you observe the rising movement and falling movements through the feeling of the head, for say about 
three or four minutes or five minutes. Later. You may be able to observe the movement without the hand putting on it. Then you can put down the, the hand slowly and then continue to observe the movements, rising movements and fall movements. Make him mental love, rise and fall in. When you are observing the rising movements and falling movements of the abdomen, if you hear any sound or voice, then you should note that sound or voice, hearing, 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 hearing. Then after that come to the primary of your notice you will rise and fall. While you are noting rise and fall in movements, you may feel itchy sensation on, in the back. That itchy sensation is more distinct than the abdominal movement. Then you should observe the itchy sensation. Itchy, 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 itchy. When the itchy has disappeared, then the note may return to the primary of the note as usual. Rising, falling, rising, falling. Mm. When you are contemplating the rising, falling movement of the deep dome, when you feel any painful sensation in any part of the body, for example, in the knee or the leg, you must not change in position. You must observe that painful sensation. Make him enter as pain, 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 attentively. Precisely, by being patient with the pain, you have to continue to note it, to observe it. The purpose of a noting of the pain is to realize the true nature of the pain. The pain is feeling or sensation, unpleasant physical sensation, unpleasant physical feeling. It also arises and passes away. So it's the impermanent. Because it's the impermanent, it's the assertive self -friendly. It's a neither a person nor a being, neither a soul nor a soul. So it uh, the painful sensation has three characteristics, impermanence, suffering, impersonal nature, but also no self. To realize these three characteristics, you have to observe the painful sensation. When you have concentration so deep in that pain, you can realize these three characteristics of the pain very well. Eventually, when the mind is more and more deeply concentrated on the pain, then the pain becomes decreasing and then disappeared. When the, game, the pain has disappeared, you come to realize the pain is impermanent, it's an impermanent. As soon as the pain has disappeared, your mind returns to the primary object, rising, falling movement. Note rising, falling, rising, falling. But sometimes you feel the painful sensation very loud. Though you note it, you observe it, the pain doesn't disappear. It just keeps going on. Then you should continue to observe it as much as possible. If the pain becomes unbearable, if you cannot bear it any longer, you must not change your position. You should get up and practice walking meditation. That's the better. If you change your position, it becomes a bad habit. Later on, even though you don't have any painful sensation, you have a tendency to change the position and unconsciously you have changed it. Then your concentration breaks. So 
not to have the bad habit of a changing position. Do not change position because of the pain. If the pain becomes unbearable, then you can turn and practice walking meditation. In this way, you have to be aware of, you have to be mindful of whatever arises in your body and mind as it really occurs during a sitting. Here, the most important thing in this meditation is to observe, to know, to be mindful of any process of thinking any process of a thought that arises in the sitting as well as in the walking. Whenever a thought arises, you should observe it, you should note it, make a mental note as thinking, thinking, thinking. Under the thought has to disappear. When you know thinking, you are noting should be more attentive and more energetic so that your noting mind becomes more and more powerful then think and process. When think and pro- the mind, the nocturne mind becomes more powerful, think and process becomes weaker and weaker. Then gradually thinking stops in a short time. Then you come to realize thinking mentality is a permanent. It arise, arises, and it passes away. After the thinking has disappeared, then you may return to the primary object that's the rising and falling movement of the abdomen. Mm. In this way, while you are sitting, observing the primary object, the main object, that's the rising and falling movement. But if there is any other mental process or physical process to note rising, then you note that that mentality or physicality under which it has disappeared. After it has disappeared, you return to the primary object, that is the rising falling movement. Rising movement and falling movement, the abdomen, is just a primary object of meditation, a main object of meditation, not the only single object of Vipassana meditation. It's a one of uh, many varieties of uh, mentality and physicality which uh, arises, which arises in the body and mind. So it's uh, not much more important than the other mental process or physical process. It's a uh, given to meditate as the primary object of meditation because uh, so long as uh, the person is alive, uh, respiration and breathing or breathing, he does. So this uh, rising movement and falling movements is, uh, so to say, ever present. That means uh, so long as uh, the person is alive. That's why the rising movement, falling movements of deep domain why you order to wind or air element is given to meditate to as a primary object of meditation to be aware of, to be mindful of when there's no other mental mental states or physical process to note. So meditator must not be attached to rising and falling movement of the deep domain. It is also one of uh, the object of uh, Vipassana meditation, mindfulness meditation, as the other mental states of physical process. So when there is uh, any other mental phenomenon or physical phenomena arising distantly or more distant than the abdominal movement, you should know that mental phenomenon or physical phenomenon. Under it, it has disappeared. After it has disappeared, you should
come to the primary object that's the rise and fall and movement of the abdomen, not as usual. So in this way, in sitting meditation, you should practice in accordance with the Mahasiddhi Patana Sutta, discourse of uh, the four foundations of a mindfulness. Now, we would like to talk about the walking meditation together with the demonstration. We'll get up slowly, mindfully, and then walk to the place of where he is going to walk. Every action's movement must be mindful of doing it slowly, being aware of each action and movement very well. Now, the meditator will practice walking meditation. First of all, in the beginning of the walk, he should note left foot and right foot, observing the movement of the foot very well, slowly. His stepping must not be long. It should be a length of a, a foot not longer than that. When she put down the foot, she should put it down flat, not the heel fast or the toe fast. The whole sole of the foot should touch the floor or the ground evenly. Only then he can practice walking very, very well. He must not look wrong here and there. If the desire to look wrong arises, the desire must be 
no debtor as a desire, desire, under the desire has it disappeared. If the desire to look wrong has it disappeared, he won't look wrong. Then he can maintain his mindfulness and concentration on the movement of the foot. He should look at about six feet ahead, two meters ahead, not nearer than that. If we look at nearer than two meters, say about two feet or one meter, he has to low, he has to bend his head too low, so in a short time he feels tense in the neck, in the head. Sometimes he feels headache, sometimes he feels feel dizzy, sometimes he feels ache in the, in the back. So he should not look at nearer than two meters so that he can get freed of these um, desirable attentions. Now he will start to observe the movement of the food, practice him walking. Left, right, left, right, left. And stand still, standing, 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 standing. Then he notes it, intention, intention, intention. Then turn the body, turning, 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 turning. Then he walk again, note, lifting, pushing, walking again.
then standing, standing, then in meditation, turning, 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 turning. Now he will know to five parts of uh, the step, five parts of the step to lift him, push him, drop him, touch him, press him. Then you have to slow down more. Lifting, pushing, dropping, touching, pressing, lifting, pushing, dropping, touching, pressing, lifting, pushing, dropping, touching, pressing. Standing, 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 standing. Each action is a movement. Each movement is preceded by intention. Before lifting, there is an intention to lift. Before 
push him forward, there is intention to push him. Before touching, there is no intention. So, before touching, there is no intention. Touch him. Then before pressing, there is intention to press pressing. In this way, there are many intentions before each movement and action. But now, meditator will observe only one intention before lifting. Before lifting, only one intention. Then the others are as usual. Intention, lifting, raising, pushing, dropping, touching, pressing, and so forth. Intention, lifting, raising, pushing, dropping, touching, pressing. Intention, lifting, raising, pushing, dropping, touching. You have to slow up all the step you are stepping should be slower so that you can catch the attention before lift and move. Standing, 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 standing. Now, we will demonstrate the third aspect of a practice, that's awareness of a daily activity. How a meditator walks to the place where he is going to drink a going to drink water. Then, when he will go to the place where that he has to observe the movement of the foot. If it is possible, three parts. If it is impossible, left to right. Now she is walking, going to walk to the place where he is to sit and drink water. Noting three parts, lifting, pushing, dropping. Lifting, pushing, dropping.
then he will drink. Then first of all, he would reach uh, his hand towards the glass, slowly observing each movement of first reaching, 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 touching, touching, holding, 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 lifting, 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 bringing, 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 and so on. Opening the mouth, opening, opening, then drink, drinking, drinking, drinking. Swallowing the water along the throat, swallowing. Then putting down, putting down, putting down, putting down, putting down. Putting down. Being mindful of all actions and movement, slowing down all actions and movement. This is the brief explanation of uh, the technique of mindfulness meditation, vipassana meditation. But I think because we have a demonstration, so meditators will rightly understand how to practice, how to sit for meditation, how to practice walking meditation, how to practice daily activity. Then here we would like to a few words 
about some points. When we observe any mental stress or physical process, we have to make a mental note of it, we have to label it. Labeling mental note is not meditation, but it's called Tajja Panyati. Tajja Panyati is necessary for meditator to use so that his mind can be focused on the object of meditation attentively, precisely. That's why we have to use this mental note. Labeling helps the mind to focus on the object of meditation attentively, precisely. Only then our concentration becomes deep. If we uh, just be aware, just aware of uh, the object without noting, without labeling, then our awareness, our mindfulness is a very poor, weak and shallow, superficial. So the mind wanders very often, goes off, thinks about something else very often because it doesn't take the object attentively, precisely. So to focus the mind on the object of meditation attentively, precisely, labeling or mental note helps the mind. But when our meditative practice is in advanced stage, suppose that we experience eleven stage of uh, inside knowledge, Sankara Bhakanyana. Such a time, our mindfulness, our Uriya effort, our concentration is naturally powerful, sharp, penetrating enough. So we need not label it. We need not use it labeling a mental note. We should drop the mental note and labeling at that time. Naturally, the mind also drops the mental note and labeling because mindfulness, effort and concentration are very powerful naturally by themselves. So they do not need the noting and labeling. This is the noting and labeling of the object. Then again, we have to slow down all actions and movement as much as possible. We deliberately slow down all actions and movement. Why should we do that? Because most of the time we have to observe why or that do when elements, air elements. In our body, there are many different why or wind or air going along, going in the body. That's why most of the time we have to observe the why or that do when element. Why or that do when element has its a specific characteristic and an individual characteristics. When a meditator, his mind is well concentrated and attain purification of a mind, jitta, visodhi, then he begins to realize sabhava lakhana and samanya lakhana of mental and physical phenomena. Sabhava lakhana here means specific or uh, individual characteristic of a mental and physical phenomena. Why are that do as movement, motion, vibration, supporting, as it is specific and mind, individual characteristic. To realize these movements, we have to slow down. To realize these movements of the body, the hand, the leg, the limb, we have to slow down all actions and movement and try 
to perceive each individual movement of the process. Each individual movement of the process is the specific characteristic one air element. That's why we have to slow down all actions and movement when we practice mindfulness and meditation. So may all of you rightly understand the technique of a mindfulness and meditation and the purpose of uh, labeling and noting and the purpose of slowing down and strive your best and attain the cessation of a suffering, Nibbana. Sayu, sayu.